So you need your math journal, page 36. You will need your fives frame, uh, crayons, preferably green and orange, a pencil, and some counters. I'm going to use green and orange counters, but any counters will work. Two-sided counters would also work. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on ways to make five or ways to break five apart. So in this problem, there are five pumpkins. Some are orange and some are green. Show two ways the pumpkins might look. So there's five pumpkins, some are orange, and some are green. Show two ways the pumpkins might look. So I could use my fives frame and I could put some orange on, and then the rest would be green. Do I have five pumpkins? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I do. So there's five pumpkins. How many are orange? One, two, three. And how many are green? One, two. So we're going to show our pumpkins with a number bond and with a picture. So I'm going to first draw the pumpkins. I have three oranges. Three of the pumpkins are orange, and two of the pumpkins are green. If I wanted to make them look like pumpkins, I could put a little stem on them. So I have five pumpkins, three are orange and two are green. So my whole number, how many pumpkins I had in all, is five. And then I have one, two, three that are orange and one, two that are blue. That's how I'd make a number bond for that problem. So now we're going to do this uh, same problem again. So I'm going to use have a different combination. So there's still five pumpkins and some are orange and some are green. What other combinations could I do? There's all kinds of combinations. So you can play around and pick your own. Let's try this one. What if I had four orange pumpkins? How many would be green? One. Let's see if there's five. One, two, three, four, five. There are five pumpkins. Some are orange, some are green. So let's show that way. So I have four orange pumpkins. And one green pumpkin. And that is another way to make five. So five is my whole number. That's how many pumpkins I had in all. And part are orange, and part are green. Four and one make five. Three and two make five. If I have five, and I have, I can do it with my hand. If I had five fingers, and one, two, three were down, then two would be up. If I had five fingers, and one, two, three, four were down, then one would be up. We're looking at ways to make five. Good job. Now you can see if you can come up with your own ways. You can do the same as me, or maybe you can think of some other ways to make five.